So in this video, I wanna talk about something that's really personal to me and what I've been really struggling with the last couple of weeks. And what I've recently come to discover is trauma and specifically illness-induced trauma. So I had a second surgery five weeks ago now and this whole recovery period I have felt really off mentally and emotionally and the last couple of weeks oh my god my anxiety has been at an all-time high and this is unusual anxiety so in the past my anxiety would just come and go oscillating right in response to life what's going on things like that but the last couple of weeks my anxiety has just been up at an all-time height regardless of what was going on in my life because right now surgery went well i can start to eat like a normal person again which is amazing my business is going well my relationship's good you know everything's kind of ideal and yet my body is in this constant state of heightened anxiety i get it from the moment i wake up to the moment i go to bed and i was saying this to my partner the other day i said i've got these real strong feelings that i'm not safe and fear and panic and it's scary. I said to him, I feel scared all the time and I just could not figure out why until I came across illness-induced trauma. And there's been some research on this and actually it's been shown that up to 25% of people with a chronic illness are going through some sort of trauma. But actually I think that is gonna be way higher, but it's just not talked about there's less research and it's just not as widespread knowledge you know it's not talked about enough which is why I'm doing this video because just from my journey and talking to people online this is hugely common I think more people are struggling than we realize and I was finally thinking oh my goodness from for me personally 15 years of being ill and then in the last year having five generals five surgeries it's kind of like all of this had to go somewhere and it's hit me and it's hit me now <laughs> of all of all times and places and i like to think of this as like a cup you've got an empty cup and when you're going through health problems you know every surgery every procedure every traumatic experience everything that doesn't go well it's like adding to this cup which gets full and more and more and more full and fuller and fuller and fuller so it gets to the top and then it just spills over and that's exactly where I'm right now it's like my cup is filled up and it's starting to spill over and now all of this trauma and all of these emotions are coming out of me but it's really common the more I talk to people the more common I realize this is because you know there's there's so many things which can cause trauma when you're dealing with an illness it's the everyday symptoms that you're dealing with and sometimes these can be really scary or the everyday not knowing what's going on in your body right having to deal with this day in day out it's the traumatic hospital visits doctors that don't listen or they don't validate you it's the invasive surgeries or procedures and then it's even life things like the financial toll trying to juggle your life around appointments and tests and surgeries and procedures and even the relationship side you know when you're when you've got people around you who you love but they just don't get it because they're not there and all of these things are an ongoing thing right which can have a toll which will be having a toll on you and this is what exactly why I wanted to talk about it because we we talk a lot about traditional PTSD and trauma you know like sexual trauma childhood abuse things like that but not this ongoing day in day out drip 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 trauma that people with a chronic illness are going through and that's kind of one of the main differences between illness induced trauma and traditional trauma is that you know chronic illness it doesn't have an endpoint so we are constantly being exposed to all of these mini trauma triggers day in day out and there's just no endpoint and this can in turn create these feelings of hopelessness, which in turn is a trigger trauma, right? And 
this is why it makes it so hard to deal with. And you know, when only, when only you start to see these things when your cup gets so full that it starts to spill over and then it starts showing up. And you know, a lot of the time this stuff is internal. So obviously so in some cases, in terms of hospital visits and surgeries, things like that, it is an external trauma. But a lot of the times we are dealing with this stuff internally trying to make sense of what's going on, trying to figure out how to cope, how to deal with symptoms, working out what's going on in our mind and our body. It can be a really strong mixture of both internal and external, which again is really, really hard to deal with. And that's what I found, you know, as a result of the surgeries which I've been through. So I've been through two major surgeries in, within four months. That in turn has triggered a lot of internal trauma within me because for me I'm right now I'm on the edge of am I going to get a complication am I not what do I eat what don't I eat what's this physical sensation is it good is it bad why am I feeling like this can you see how this in turn we can actually start to create these loops and these patterns which can trigger trauma within us just by trying to make sense of all of this and you're not alone if you're going through this and this is what I think has kind of caused my cup to start to kind of overfill and, and spill over because we're always on high alert. And that's one of the key things of a chronic illness. You know, you're always on high alert. What if something goes wrong? What if I feel like this? What does this mean? What does this symptom mean? Why am I feeling like this? Is it something good? Is it something bad? So we're in this constant state of fight or flight, which is not sustainable, you know? And that can only go on for a certain period of time until it has to come out somewhere. And we're also worried about the future. You know, what's going to happen to us? What if this progresses and, you know, progress and how these things develop is a huge bit of trauma for us. Because we have no idea about the future. Nobody does. But when you're dealing with an illness, there's a real big worry about what might happen. And when you're carrying that around for a long period of time, it's going to have an impact. So hopefully you can see that what you're feeling right now, and if you actually take a minute and reflect back on what you've gone through, because this is what I've done the last couple of weeks, I've actually gone, okay, why am I feeling like this? This is new for me. This is unusual, but there's a reason why I'm feeling like this. And if I reflect back on my journey, oh my God. It's kind of no wonder that this stuff has had to come out at some point. You know, I, I just thought I was superwoman and I could just get through this completely unscathed and I'd come out and bounce back. And I hate that phrase, bounce back, because that's what we're expected to do, right? We're expected just to bounce back from an illness, bounce back from surgery or procedure. Whereas the reality is bouncing back is this, but it's going to be wiggly and wobbly and back and forward. That's the reality of recovery. But we have these expectations and this pressure just to be fine. And as I've figured out now, I'm not okay. And I hold my hand up. I'm going through some trauma from the 15 years of being ill and the misdiagnosis and not knowing what's going on and the daily symptoms and doctors not listening to me and multiple surgeries. It's, that cup is going to be full it's got to come out somewhere and this was a huge relief for me to realize this that oh, okay well as I'm not superwoman which I hoped I would be and I thought I could just bounce back I'm not and it's coming to that place of acceptance and actually now working with what you're going through rather than just battling on or ignoring it but I'd be really interested to know how many other people are also feeling this way like myself right now how many of you out there are feeling some effects of your illness from your surgeries, from your procedures, from that chronic day in, day out of living life with what you're going through. Please comment and let me know. I'd be really interested because there needs to be more talk around this. It's gotta be a conversation open about this because if you're anything like me, I've just sat for the last few weeks and felt totally isolated and alone and wondering what the hell was wrong with me because I just didn't know. So I'm hoping that's given you a little bit of relief or a bit of comfort if you're also feeling the same. But please let me know if you're also going through this. We've got to open up this conversation. Sending you all my healing and love for anybody else also struggling. Love you all.